first impressions of Perth? Um, what do you think? Um, I love it. It's a, it's a beautiful place and I think the club's um, really, really exciting. It's new, so I'm really excited to be a part of it all. What was the reason behind you coming to Perth? Um, I don't know. I guess, you know, when you get offers and that and you, I, they flew me over and took me through everything and did some training sessions and I, I thought it, was, it looked really good. So, yeah, I decided to come here. There's, there's, I guess there's a sense of excitement amongst the, the links, uh, formerly the Waves and now new owners with the Cats, you know, Wildcats coming on yep. board as the owners. I think. Is it, was that a part of it as well? Um, yeah, I, I guess they just look like a really professional club. Like they seem like, you know, they've got everything together and they know they have a plan. They know what they want to do. You know, they want to get the community involved, which I love. And, you know, that's really good for women's basketball to get our name out there because obviously we're not as well known as the men, men's league. So I think, you know, what they want to do and bring everyone on board with us is really good for the WNBL. What about your shoot? I mean, for a tall girl, you like shoot for three-pointers, eh? Yes, I've, al I've always been like that from young, always love shooting, love shooting, I think, yeah. So. Is that what you hope to bring to the to the links, a bit of versatility, uh, you know, in the post and beyond the arc? Yeah, definitely. That That's my game. That's how I play, like, bit of posts and bit of outside because I love to shoot it. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be bringing on board. It's a completely new team, isn't it? Uh, you know, I think the world is the only wave left from last year. Yeah. How's that? A bit of excitement, a bit of uh, strange. You, you've got a gel, I guess, for the new season. Um, yeah, I get, I've met a few girls that I don't I haven't known, so I've met a lot of new faces. And from training, we look like we're already mixed well together. So it's really exciting, a new team. What about your draft history? Um, draft of the year with WNBA. Um, yeah. What was that like? Take us through that experience and I guess what it means for the next couple of years for you. Um, yeah, well, like I was saying yesterday in a few, um, I found out on Twitter, so I had no idea. I had no idea about it. I just signed up to Twitter and that, so I got a notification on my phone saying you've been drafted to the Washington Mystics. And I was like, oh, what does that mean? Like, it's really exciting. So I guess for the future, um, they've got my rights in that now. So if I want to, when I want to head over, when I think I'm ready and when they want me, I'll hopefully head over, never know, maybe next year if I think I'm ready and yeah, it's exciting. So did you have to clear with them to, to play with the Lynx or how does that work in terms of signing with a new club um, outside of America? No, they don't really have like anything to do with it. I can sign here because I guess it's different seasons and whatnot. So I think when they want me or, you know, when I think I'm ready to go over, you know, reach out to them and yeah, head over and see what it's like. Um, playing with the Opals part of the you know plans as well. Yeah, that's definitely always a plan. Um, you know, I was involved in the squad um, last year, and that was really exciting to be you know with all those older girls, and I learnt lots from that. Unfortunately, I'm not involved this year, leading up into the Olympics and that the next year. But you know, that's something I'll strive for and work towards. When you say you're not part of it, like, is there still a possibility you could? For, for never, life? never know. Like, they bring you people back and forth in and out new people so I could get a call up for another camp I don't I don't know but yeah fingers but crossed maybe hopefully but although a strong performance with the links for the season I mean it could change a few things yeah it could you, you never know what they're doing what they're thinking so Clara what was the reason behind um, coming to the links oh there's a lot of reasons um, well a major one is just um, I've heard a lot of good things um, from my coach and then from a lot of other people in the basketball world and uh, it's a really, it's one of the most professional organisations in the WNBL now and the association with the Wildcats is just a huge positive and it, yeah, it's, I'm very lucky to be here. Yeah. And a, a whole new sport as well really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, um, I've really enjoyed getting to meet um, some of the girls and um, I've played with a couple before so yeah, it's, it's nice, yeah. What are you hoping to achieve in this season? Uh, just kind of, yeah, get a profile in the WNBL and um, play my role in the team, develop myself and be, yeah, play whatever I need to um, in the team. And, yeah. Do you feel with a, a new um, ownership behind the links, um, things will change and things will happen? The profile of women's basketball, women's sport will, will increase? Yeah, I know that's one of their major goals, um, to increase um, yeah, involvement for women in sport and increase their profile. And Yeah, I think it absolutely will by the sounds of their um, core values and everything, yeah. Are you aware of the, uh, the lack of success of the Waves and the, and the Orioles, I guess, back in the, not Orioles, but um, women's basketball back in the days in Perth? Yeah, I hope um, the Lynx will kind of rebrand you. 
you feel? I know a little bit about the history. I haven't, yeah, don't know all of it. But yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think it's going to be a really successful season. And uh, yeah, we've got the players to make it a success. So, yeah. Is it um, good to be part of the, uh, I guess, a new club, a new team? Yeah, so to speak, isn't it? absolutely. It's really exciting. Um, I think it's awesome that the Wildcats have gotten on board, especially given their success the last few years. So, yeah, it's really exciting and great move for women's sport, I think. Sense of excitement. I mean, how long have you been in town for? Um, well, just two days this, this trip, and I came for another little three-day trip a couple of weeks ago. But, yeah, haven't seen too much, but I'm excited to explore a little bit. What do you... Uh, is that a sense of excitement? A um, whole new sport as well, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's one of the really exciting things too. Um, a bunch of 12 new girls and new coach and new faces. So I think everyone's starting from the same position and you know, all looking to move forward and move up. I know it's way too early to think about um, success in bits and pieces, but women's basketball hasn't had that much success in yep. Perth, you might be aware. But what do you think the leagues can, can achieve or you know, right from the outset? Yeah. Want to just push hard? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, Andy and Nick have recruited the girls that are all on the same page wanting to get better and I think the Wildcats have been so successful and I don't think the club expects anything less from the Lynx. So just um, that winning culture is something I think is going to spread across to the women's team. What have you did played in Tasmania the last couple of years? Yeah, so down in Tassie the last this is my third season but originally from the Gold Coast. So looking forward to getting over to some warmer weather again.